Hi guys, welcome back to Youth Diaries. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Faith Mwaita and today I am here with a very interesting topic. You can tell by the way I'm dressing today. Today I'm going to be talking about Lombola Rora, which is the bride prize and the Shona slash African culture. So uh, I came up to this idea because on my last video, I made that last video with Nicholas and we let you guys ask questions about interracial dating and interracial relationships. But then I realized that the question that was coming up frequently was about Lobola, the bride prize. So I decided to do some research on that and I asked my family for some points and they, and they explained to me what exactly happens there because they are very traditional people. So yeah, they helped me in getting these points. So this is a very detailed video and if you're interested, you should keep watching. And the, also the other reason I'm doing this is for the youths that do not know what exactly happens in our culture. So if you're a youth and you know you want to get married soon, well, keep watching because these tips are going to help you. They are very detailed and are going to help you so much. So before we get into the video, I'd love to give so much thanks to the people that have subscribed to this channel, people that are supporting this channel, people that are engaging. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I hope it stays like that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed and if you're not yet engaging please subscribe and please engage with other people tell us what you think you know like videos you know yeah it's always nice to engage with other people here on youth diaries yeah so with that being said let's get into the video so from the information I've gathered this process these lobola negotiations are grouped into five stages well i come from Mutare, and this is how they do things so like i said this differs from province to province and from family to family but this is what happens where i come from so um when when you are looking into marrying a girl when you are looking into paying lobola doing some lobola negotiations you do not go and ask you do not go and negotiate yourself but you send someone you trust could be your friend could be your cousin could be your family member could be your father could be someone you don't know as long as it is not you the the the, the, the son-in-law does not do any negotiations you wait so um on the girl's side, the girl has got to ask her aunties to um, support you to help the negotiator, your negotiator, to like talk to the father and all that. So uh, once uh, the the aunties and you and your negotiator set a date to go to the to the girl's house, um, the girl's relatives are called in. So this is very essential. I mean. When you, when this date is set, it is very important to not stand people up because the whole family is called by then. The whole, rel all the relatives, I mean, people travel for miles to come to this event. It's not like you're alone with the father. Like I said, the whole family is there when you ask for their child's hand in marriage. So these people come and gather at the girl's house. So I'm going to go into stage one now. So. The date has been planned, your negotiator is there, your, uh, the, the girl's aunties are there, they escort you. When they arrive at the girl's house, you wait close by, the groom waits close by. You, don't, you should not go far away because they need you at the end of the ceremony. They need to introduce you at the end of the ceremony. So when, when, when this negotiator and the aunties go to the house, they have got to kurova gusu, which is clapping like this. Okay, so the men do this. And the women do this and when they enter the house I, it does not matter where they are they could be outside the house or inside the house they get to where the family is and they clap and they don't say a word they should be quiet when they do this and then when they get there they are offered a seat and normally it's on the floor it's not on the couch it's not on the chair it's on the floor so they sit on the floor and then uh, the aunt says why they are there and then the parents sit there they've got the parents have got a spokesperson the parents do not say a word during these negotiations right so this spokesperson says you know they they, they, they start asking questions so that your negotiator and the aunties introduce themselves questions like oh who are you where do you come from and what are you doing here who do you want to marry so you have got to say all those things you've got to expect those questions right okay so once those questions are said 
the first step to the negotiations is ndiro which is something like this so something like this is usually wooden this is where all the money comes in because they're going to be requesting money and this is where you put in the money your negotiator puts in the money what the father and the mother are requesting so once that is there the first thing that they request is the money for ndiro which is that vowel they really so you which is like five us dollars so that you you take your five us dollars you put it in that plate right so the next thing they will request is money for a gogo goi a gogo goi is <laughs> knocking money so that when you knock someone's door when you knock the family's door they've got to open for you so they will request money for that which is like five US dollars like i said these the, okay these prizes are not fixed prizes it all depends on the type of family and what they expect from you and what they ask from you these are just example prizes thing yeah, no, yeah. so they will request a go go goi which is a knock on the door so that they can open for you and let you in to their home so once you paid that the next thing they want is a vramuromo which is money to open the mouth right and uh, this could also be between five dollars and you know I don't know five dollars going up or less than five dollars and the next thing is <laughs> which is money to open the ears so that they can listen to you Womu Vramuromo is the money so that they can speak to you and you know answer your things and tell you what they want. Manonganzewe is the money they you they, they want to to open their ears so that they can hear you, which is also like plus or less than five dollars. And uh Makatin's one comes next. Where did you hear about us? So you put in that money, which is also like five or ten or doesn't matter uh that money ranges it differs from family to family so once those are done there comes um the matekenyandevu it's called matekenyandevu because you know um when the when children <laughs> when a father's got his beard right the children usually play around the beard so the father's request a matekenyandevu since that little girl that you want to marry was playing around and fiddling with the father's beard so yeah you pay that which is also plus or less than five dollars and uh then comes daddy that is paid because you have gathered people for this special occasion it differs it could be less or more than fifty dollars and then comes mute which is snuff it's a cultural thing traditional thing in the shona culture mute is really important for the people that have been gathered i don't i'm not really sure about what they use it for but it is really important and uh, then comes kombiran which is gushu the like i said the men do this the women do this so yeah that is kurova gushu and then comes tamtombu which is like five dollars more or less five dollars so tamtombu mutombo is medicine so when the little girl that you want to marry was sick as a as, as a child the mother used to spend her care you know the mother used to care for that girl and you know give her medicine and all of that so you have got to pay that money <laughs> for that and also together with the uh rambi maria rambi which is money for the light which is also like five dollars because when that child was sick you know most of these girls lived in rural areas when they were younger and when in rural areas they usually Usually wasn't electricity so they had to pay they, they had to have a lamp to with a light uh, which is like a solar light to light up the house because when the child is sick they need to see that child more frequently you know and take care of it and there was no electricity so they needed that light so yeah and then comes Majadzi Majadzi this money is for the brothers or for anyone else if that girl does not have brothers any person that that girl can go to when she gets problems and this money could be more or less than $25 and then comes Muripu this one is interesting well when we look at our modern days people have got like girlfriends and boyfriends right but uh Muripu I think a lot of people pay for this because this money is paid this is damage control 
usually the girl is not allowed to leave her house and go away with the boyfriend so if you know that you are taking someone's child and taking them to your place overnight and all that you've got to pay this money or if that girl was got pregnant before the the marriage thing you've got to pay that money or if that girl has already met your parents this money has got to be paid which is more or less than thirty dollars okay so that was stage one these are the things that these are the basic things and these things really need to be paid you cannot negotiate on these ones if they say they want ten dollars you should pay ten dollars but on the other stages which i'm about to get into you can negotiate for lower prices or for better prices but on this stage you should do whatever they want you to pay you should pay whatever they want you to pay so let's move into stage two stage two this is like the most important part this is where the bride price comes in right so the bride price differs it ranges from like five hundred dollars to ten thousand or even more or even less it depends on the family and uh let's say these this girl's family say they want ten thousand dollars what you have to do well you're not gonna take ten thousand cash out i mean like i said you put everything they want in this plate all the money they could request from you you put it in this plate so what you're gonna do is since you don't know you do not have the ten thousand dollars in cash and you cannot fit it in here of course you have got to take that three you have to got to take like 300 or 500 dollars it depends on whatever you have with you you've got to take it and put it in this plate so once it's in that plate the girl you are there to marry let's say it's me i stand up i pick that money up and i take it and once i take it you have got to replace that money if i took 300, the 300 dollars you put in here you've got to put another 300 dollars to cover up what i've taken it's just like that i do not know why it's like that it is just like that that's the tra 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 tradition right okay so once that is done uh, i take oh i take this money I, I i the bride take that money because i am showing that i am well acknowledged of what is going on and that i agree to what is happening so that is why i stand up and take that money so yeah that is what happens in stage two and moving on to stage three okay stage three i think this is very common because when we tell other people about our shona culture our african culture that people in Africa should pay lobola when marrying this comes into mind this is the first thing that comes into mind which is cows so this stage is for the cows this is where all the livestock game comes in so when the family says the number of cows they want could be 5 10 20 30 50 it depends like I said um, they would tell you the number of cows let's say they want 10 live cows they'll tell you to know mombe 10 is not sick which means we want 10 live cows then if you can provide those as cows but if you don't have the cows they could tell you okay we'll peg eight of the cows at 150 dollars which means you've got to give them in cash but then they would want two at least two cows zinotika so what you could do two cows two live cows so what you could do is to ask the girl's aunt or to ask someone to go and buy you those two cars cows and uh these live cows i mean they are they, they they don't cost less than 300 dollars that is why they could say we want exactly two live cows if you don't have the other eight so that is what could happen but this is actually um a bonus <laughs> when they say we can peg the cows at 150 dollars each but usually it's always good uh, to like i mean if the father is into farming if the family is into farming it's always good to like give them as the cows you know it would impress them <laughs> but yeah putting that aside uh they would request goats so there's what is called munongedzo a goat called munongedzo this goat is a signal <laughs> it's a signal goat it shows you where okay this goat is taken and it, it shows you where you should put your cows the cows that you're bringing to your family to the family so this goat is a signal and then at the end of the day at this ceremony usually it gets slaughtered and it usually gets slaughtered by the person who wants to marry the girl yeah and then the other the other type of goat is called mu nunga nunga wiri nunga miri nunga miri so this is a leader goat right 
and uh, this goat leads the cows into the into the crow where they should be put into so yeah and this goat stays the goat that gets killed is the signal goat that shows where the livestock is so yeah uh then we have jongwe which is a chicken a cock right and um uh, they will take this cock let it loose i mean you know how fast that thing is they'll let this cock loose and then you have to go you have to run after it and you have to catch it and then slaughter it so yeah that is what happens but then you know if you can't catch it it should not be a b it's not a big issue if you can't catch it because we all know how fast that thing is <laughs> but yeah so um that was it for stage three now we move on to stage four so stage four is for the mother the mother gets special things special separate things so what could happen is you have to get the mother an outfit that she is going to that she could wear on the day of your wedding which is like a skirt a blouse and something to put over the blouse a hat shoes and all of that an umbrella for example if she requests one and um these things yeah she can wear them at the wedding but if you've got enough money to get her another outfit uh, for your wedding day then you can do it but usually this is what she wears on the weddings so yeah and the also also the other things that she gets is a head wrap like this what i'm having right now uh zambia which is something she wraps around her waist chari which is like a baby blanket a big blanket for her those two in one blankets for winter uh a big brick that is a big metal thing to store sugar in bonde which is like it looks like a mat but it's made out of reeds so that she could like sleep on the floor or sleep outside in the shade if she wants to sleep outside so bonde which is like two dollars you know and uh, the most important thing when uh when i'm uh, doing this thing for the mother when doing the mother part is mombe umai which is the mother's cow she will request a cow for herself and gentlemen out there um this is <laughs> this cow is very important i mean you can you can you can forget to buy the other things but this cow is very important a lot of people have gotten into trouble because they did not provide the mother with this cow so make sure you have it it's a big deal and uh it's called the mother's cow mombeyo mai so yeah I provide that for her and also the last thing is mafuki zadum which is like something for her to wear because uh, mafuki zadum is something to cover the stomach that is what is called in english so it's something that should cover her stomach because when she was pregnant she needed to cover that you know maternity clothes i don't know if i'm saying that right but that is what it means so that that was it for stage four is the mother's part and for stage five let's move into stage five so for stage five this is for the father this is where you give the father a suit that he could wear the wedding or you can get him a new one if you wish to get him a new one so it it's you get him a suit clothes shoes a hat jersey which is a coat tie socks and trimbo which is a, a stick you know an african walking stick i'm not saying that that stick that you use when you're old no it has to be, be stylish you know because this is something that he should walk around with too so that people can respect him so that people know this is the bride's father so you should provide him with that african walking stick so yeah so that was it for the stages now we are at the end of the negotiations um now that the negotiations are done I mean, you, 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 the, your negotiator, the person who's there to negotiate for you, they should not agree to everything. They don't have to. They could, you know, fight for lower prices. They should negotiate. That is why they are called the negotiator. So once that is done, but like I said, at the first stage, you do not negotiate. You give what they want. So yeah, on the other stages, you can negotiate. If they want ten cows, you could say, hey, I can only afford eight. So yeah, you can negotiate on other stages except for the first stage so yeah that was it for the stages and we are coming to the end of our video so once we are at the end 
the end of this negotiation i'm going to be reading to you guys what is needed what is needed is kuvari sandiro closing the the, the bow this thing if you're forgotten again closing this thing so what you could do is put in five dollars more or less than five dollars in here and uh if you want to have a white wedding with the uh, with their daughter you should ask on that day if you don't ask it means you don't want one and you can't have it you know so you should ask on that day and they would request like 50 or less 50 dollars or less and then Pachi Gwizi should be paid, which is like five dollars. And then Kukumbira Pendani Murora, which is asking to go with the bride. Because at some times you would you would want to take your bride after the white wedding. So if you want to take her home on that day, you should pay which is like I don't know, could range between fifty more or less more or less than 50 and then comes mutungura this is for the aunties escorting the girl okay so what happens is after this ceremony once the father has said yes uh it is now the the it is now your turn to take your lady home to your parents so what they do is they pay you pay the aunties to escort your girl to escort your girl to come to your house and usually the girl is covered up and people first see her when she's inside so yeah money for that is needed money for transport for the food and uh for the aunties as well because what they do at the men's house what they typically do is yeah they get there and they cover the bride up and then they sing the song murora tau ya nae tau ya nae ne magumbeze murora so yeah they sing that song and then the aunties and the and your wife should um sweep your family's yard you know sweep the house clean up everything and cook for your family because i don't know the, your, your family should be called as well so that you can introduce your wife to them so yeah that is what happens and then once that is done lastly once that is done once you paid for the aunties you present the groceries but then what could be happening is yeah these groceries could be eaten during the ceremony or eaten after the ceremony after this occasion after this special occasion so yeah you present your groceries that you have for the family for the relatives that have traveled to come and see you ask for that girl's hand in marriage so yeah that is what happens so now everything has it has been done the father has said yes everything has gone well what is going to happen now is that your negotiator and the aunties thank themselves for saying yes now they stand up they come and take you wherever you are either you're in your car you're waiting in your car they come and take you and you come back inside and when you go back inside you should all clap like this and uh again you don't say anything you clap the men clap like this the women clap like this so once you're back inside you sit and then the aunties say oh okay this is the this is your new son-in-law and then they introduce you you can see your new family the family welcomes you and then people celebrate you know people then uh, feel good after this occasion because when everything goes well it's usually really nice it's a nice feeling you know so yeah that is literally what happens at least where i come from i don't know what happens where you guys come from is it the same or did i leave something out um if you think i left something out state it in the comments or tell us what happens in your culture is it the same or it's different state it in the comments below i would love to hear how you guys do it and you know hear how you guys negotiate on these things if you guys still believe in lobola if you don't believe in it what you like about lobola about this traditional lobola thing say it in the comments below well i personally i am into this traditional thing i really love that and yeah so i'll see you guys in our next video and um, before we end i would love to thank you guys so much for tuning in and for watching thank you so much and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a huge thumbs up give it a huge thumbs up i'll be very happy if you do and i'll be very happy again if you engage and you know tell us what happens in your culture if you're from south africa tell us what happens if you're from germany tell us what happens if you're from uh if you're a zezuru tell us what happens in your province so yeah 
thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you so much for for supporting i, I cannot thank you guys enough i mean you have done so much and uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like i said and uh i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in our next episode so take care turn on your notifications for new videos because like i said we post every week so yeah that was it for today thanks so much again and i'll see you guys in our next video so take care and bye <laughs>